Okay, so yesterday I went to my favorite John Deere garden tractor parts guy and I got a few parts for the buried 110 here including a transmission to use for parts. This transmission of course is missing its axle housings and one of its axles. This one here is attached and uh, it seems okay. It's a, a three-speed, like the original. Not the tightest transmission I've ever felt, but it goes in all its gears just fine. Actually, it might be a four-speed. Yeah, it's a four-speed, it's not a three. This here is second. First, over here is uh, reverse, down and over. Yeah, I don't know. I think it is a four speed. Oh well. I only paid 20 bucks for this transmission, so I don't really care. If I can get some parts out of this transmission and use it, I'm doing good. Because it spins nice and free, the gears seem to work. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Um. Anyways, I am gonna buy another transmission for this tractor that is supposed to be in working condition. How am I gonna do that? I am gonna buy another 1964 110. I don't think it has an engine on it. Its hood is mangled up pretty bad, but uh. It's got a lot of good parts on it. It's got a perfect steering wheel on it. Or mine's got these nice little gouges here, and my center cap is it's not too, too bad, but it's got some scrapes on it. So, uh, yeah, that one's got a perfect steering wheel. And it's got a lot of good parts on it. It's got the push button on the lever here, which I need so badly. Well, it's hard to grab things looking through a camera, isn't it? And, uh, yeah, the belt guard there, it would go right there where that hole is, and there's a hole down there that protects this. Yeah, they're like 40 bucks and up if you find them. So I don't know if I'll be getting one of those or not, at least anytime soon. Um, I'm just going to be painting this tractor up, dressing it up a little bit, making it look really nice. And uh, hmm, it's a bummer. This is a four-speed. I thought it was a three. Guess I didn't check it good enough. Oh well. I didn't pay much for it, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Hopefully I can swap some gears over, and uh, I'm going to try to fix the transmission that's in it as a spare, and put the known good transmission in it. And then all i got to worry about is the engine. And what have we here? Look at that, it's a muffler. That means this rusted out piece of crap gets to come out of here. And this 210 actually gets to be quiet. Now I got something in the back of the truck. For the 110. Come right over here. Coming over, coming over, coming over. Oh, look at this. My $10 snowblower. Guy just wanted it out of his yard. Pretty rusty. It's the same snow bar I've got for my 110, except this one here is in pretty rough shape. But it's got all the parts I need to fix mine. It's got the lever to turn the chute. It's bent, but I can straighten it. Everything's here. Just gotta fix the wire around the pulley. All the mounting brackets are here. That I can tell, anyways. And uh, I can just get a lot of good parts off this snowblower. So, for 10 bucks, can't go wrong. So I'm gonna get my boom pole 50 and we'll get this out of here.